Hey guys, look folk here and welcome to another FIFA 20 SBC video and today guys it is Friday, it is 6pm, there is a new season hopefully in Ultimate Team and there is also a new SBC in Altoro Vidal from Barcelona. Of course, maybe not the best night um, last night for Barcelona, of course losing the La Liga title to Real Madrid, fantastic to see. Um, Real, is it fantastic to see Real win the title? I kind of think like it is fantastic to see them win it for a change. Uh, and then watching Gareth Bale's very fake sort of celebration. Uh, but but uh, no Real Madrid SBC today. Instead, Al Toro Vidal gets his SBC and he looks tasty. He looks very tasty indeed. Now, it, it, obviously tomorrow we should see the Pogba SBC. Will Pogba be better rated? And better in terms of stats than Altoro Vidal because this Vidal card just looks absolutely insane. We will have a look at the new season in a second as well and see what rewards there are for those. But two segments to Vidal. Um, it's inspired by his flashback version, which I think was pretty expensive when it came out. So I'm interested to see what the requirements are for this kind of like super juiced uh, flashback Vidal. Let's have a look now. We'll have a look at the stats in a second and talk about whether he's valuable for money. Now, it's an 86 rated squad, two 86s. Um, I mean, all right, packs back in return. They are at least tradable, I suppose. So, two E6 rated squads, of course, you can grind the 82 to the 88 rated upgrade pack, which I believe is still here somewhere. Uh, if not, then that is going to be a bit of a concern. Obviously, the 81 double pack is there, and still that pack is there um, for at least another week. So, obviously, you could use those to be able to grind towards the pack. But even so, I think 86 cards have started to rise again recently. So he's still going to be like a good few, what, he's going to be like maybe 300,000 coins or something like that on like first guess estimation. Um, but let's kind of see whether he's really, really worth it. So four star skills, four star weak foot. So that's good for him for the high, high work rate. I think his five, five foot 11, not too bad into his in-game stats. I mean, it's just beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. 99 aggression, really good uh, strength stats. So you could play him as a CDM, as a cam, or as a midfielder. You know, he's so versatile, he can play in any midfield role, which is obviously fantastic. His defensive stats are fantastic. Um, dribbling, 99 reactions. If you're going to use him as a cam, I think he does need to have better agility and balance. And of course, a cam still can easily fix those. Um, vision, short passing, long passing is brilliant. 95 shot power. He's going to be able to score some absolute bangers from long range. Obviously, having the 93 long shots as well. 85 finishing, that's fine for a box-to-box -box midfielder. Uh, 94 positioning, nice pace as well. It's just an end game card. It really, really is absolutely fantastic. Uh, decent traits there as well. We'll have a look at the new season in a second. Second. I didn't even get like to the full uh, highest rank for the last season, so I'm hoping this season to give us like some insane rewards. But we'll have to wait and see. So I want to have a look at box to box midfield players from um, La Liga. Of course, it was the team of the season, Erdegaard, team of the season, Cazorla, who was a fantastic card to use, but does obviously have a lack of stamina. And um, we've got the Modric flashback cards, who was like a premium version. Tony Crow's team of the season. I want to have a look at him. Who have already got my club. Uh, De Jong, I want to have a look at his team of the season because he's the same rated as Vidal. Saul, team of the season. His SPC was pretty cheap, I think. And then they'll have, I want to have uh, Vidal as well there in the concepts. Now, if I compare like a Vidal with like a Tony Cruz, for example, I don't know how much Tony Cruz goes for on the market. Of course, there's two ratings higher, lacks in pace, same shooting, better passing, considerably better passing and considerable better dribbling, a lot less defending and a lot less physical. Now, how much does he go for? About 130, 140,000 coins, which of course would be cheaper than what this SBC would cost. But overall, Vidal, despite being two ratings lower, is actually probably a better card. Uh, Saul team of the season, I think, was an SBC. Yeah, he was, so he's not going to come up. And then De Jong was. Um, he obviously had the team of the year card. If I go quickly here to team of the season for a second. He is going for, oh my, he's still going for an absolute bomb in terms of coins. About three, well, just under 400,000 coins. Is he better than Vidal? Better pace, worse shooting, better passing, much better dribbling, uh, but then considerably worse, worse in defensive stats and physical stats. You know what, Vidal, I see good value for money in him. For 286 rated squads, he can also use the upgrade packs to be able to grind for. I think he's value for money. I think he's not the highest rated um, midfielder card, but I think he's better than team of the season. Junk, he's better than team of the season. Saul, he's probably even more better than that team of the season. Kroos, who's two ratings higher. Um, so that Vidal card, 
really, really good SPC. I think even for 286 rated squads, I actually think that's value for money. Honestly, I really, really do. So good SBC there. I will have a look now at what the new um, seasons is. Is there any cards here? Oh, Daniel James again has been given an absolutely amazing super juice card that 91 rated. That's pretty cool. Um, we're going to be able to get a Cruyff and a Garincha. Now, I've already got Johan Cruyff, but even so, it'd be nice to be able to get that Garincha card. So, uh, a Garincha there, Cruyff, who uh, obviously I already have his untradeable cards, and still very, very grateful to be able to have him. Um, ooh, that's nice. Andre de Gomez as well, that's pretty cool. And Tete, I think I'd like to go with maybe Andre Gomez out of that one, potentially, because he's, I know, actually, Tete's the highest rated. Maybe, or actually, maybe Tete to kind of link into Cruyff, potentially. I might go with him. Um, oh, Eusebio. That's tasty, isn't it? That is very tasty. And then the 92 Martial and 93 Bernadeschi and a 93 rated Emre Chan. So basically a team of the season Martial to a certain extent. And he's been fantastic for Man United, certainly in their restarts. Um, I'd probably go with Martial, I think, out of that one. Or Emery Chan, one of those two. I don't think I go with Bernadeschi because, of course, I got Bernardo Silva, I got Messi and stuff. But um, some pretty nice stuff there. But yes, on the whole, good SBC. In fact, a very, very good SBC as far as I'm concerned. He, although he's in the highest rated um, centre midfield card from La Liga, to me, he looks the best box to box card that, that you can actually get from La Liga. He looks absolutely superb. That Vidal SBC, literally no faults to him whatsoever. You can play him as a cam, a centre midfielder, a CDM. Very, very good uh, value for money. In my personal opinion on the SBC. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish up this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.